do is to take this, uh, take this trapezoid or this polygon and reflect it over my line k. The best thing I can tell you guys when thinking about this is all we're simply doing is we're taking this and we're going to reflect it over to the other side. Think of it as a mirror. All right? And the best way we can do this is, you know, let's say we have this distance here, right? Well, that distance we need to mirror on the other side. Right? So if it's, you know, I, we don't have any measurements, we're just kind of estimating. But look at how far the point U is on the left side. That's how far it needs to be across on the, on the line of reflection. S has no distance away from the line of reflection, right? So guess what? S prime is going to stay on the line of reflection. And then I'm just going to try to get this as best as I can. And hopefully you guys can see that this is just a reflection. It's the exact same on both sides of your line of symmetry. right? Because when you do a reflection correctly, that line of reflection is now going to be a line of symmetry that you have in your overall image. OK? Questions? Good? Good stuff. That was good, right? <laughs>